Compared to a gaming PC with a Ryzen 3700X and the 5700XT, this PC is just a uh, notch below that. Uh, that's because we are going to lose big time to this Ryzen 7 3700X. I'm just going to run the benchmark and I'm going to speed it up so you can have a quick uh, review of the benchmark to see how well this PC performs or this Mac performs on the benchmark. So I'm going to start it now and let's see how it's performing. Hello and welcome to Too Far Tech. Today we're going to use our old Mac Pro 5.1, the vintage machine. We're going to do some DirectX 12 3D Mark time spy now this is a benchmark from 3d mark and it's uh, available i believe in the free version too so if you download the 3d mark from the website you should be able to run this on your own computer without purchasing it but i do have the advanced edition already purchased through steam and i'm going to run the benchmark today to see how well this performs this pc performs compared to the 2020 gaming pcs that's available these days now i got this machine in a very bad state and i managed to make it run and i also upgraded the graphics card from the hd radeon to the gtx nvidia 1080 with the 8 gb ram with the dual cpu i find it pretty awesome to use it every day and i do all the video renderings for the too far tech on this machine uh, so far i haven't um, reached a bottleneck in terms of my own usage but i know if i go for the advanced games uh, which i would show later that the cpu is becoming a potential bottleneck in certain kind of games especially in the 1080p resolution where the 1080 gtx can perform very well. A stress, stress test i'm going to not going to record it because it's a long process it goes through a lot of cycles uh, of testing and then it gets the end result so i'm going to start the test and when it's completed i'm going to show you the end result so how well or how stable my mac pro 5.1 is with the gtx 1080 so let's start and i'll just show you the starting part of the test so you know what it's going to do first it collects the system information further to which it will uh, do the stress test based on the specification of this machine so right now it's loading the time spy graphics test as you can see the slider still processing one of the features when you purchase the full-fledged 3d mark is the stress test now the stress test is not just going to push and it's also going to check the reliability and the stability of the system so with a commendable frame rate of approximately 42 frames per second the video test has start, started actually and it's going to go through a lot of passes i'm not exactly sure how many passes it's going to go through so what what it does is it goes through these iterations each time it sees whether the pc is able to maintain the same kind of frame rate in each pass so based on the passes and each iteration if the frame rate is dropping considerably compared to the previous one that means the system is not stable that means the cooling is not sufficient enough maybe the gpu is overheating maybe the cpu is overheating so you, you got to dig into that by, by looking at the graphs that show at the end it will show that what could probably be causing the issue and show the reason why the performance is dropping through each passes so that's as, as you can see it's already started the second pass and that's how it's going to happen it's going to take a long time to finish this so once it's done i will post the end result of the video and the, the stability test finally after a long wait we have the final scores here it's 99.4 percent passed that means that's how the stable was 
High score means your PC performance is stable and consistent under load. To pass the test, you, your system frame rate stability must be at least 97% and all the loops must be completed. You know, I have seen machines that did not even complete the loop because it overheated and the application has crashed. And, you know, I've worked on machines like that before. But here we have a very stable frame rate. I've, I've seen up to 99.7 in one of my builds. But in this machine, it's nothing much I can do because it's all sealed and built as per Apple spec. But still, we got a 99.4 and around 20 loops of almost one minute. So that's almost 20 minutes of uh, high stress on the CPU. And you can see the frame rates, uh, how it's going up and down. And these are some areas which is having you know less load on the graphics card, average frame rate. The CPU temperature, as you can see, it's kind of stable. It's coming up to a top of 67. GPU is up to around 72 degrees, stable. It's not going up to 80 or anything. And GPU load, and also it's clear. And uh, the CPU also has been really pushed. So not, not bad. So overall, this is the detail on the stress test of this machine. It's pretty uh, awesome to see it go through it successfully. Okay, we have the 3D mark final score. 7248 not bad you would see why i'm gonna say uh, what i'm why i'm saying it's not bad but you can see the weakness of the system uh, the weakness is right here in the cpu score you got 22.03 fps that's where the, the system is weak because the 1080 gtx is still a decent graphics card and you can see the graphics card of uh, graphics score of 7386 which is not bad and you can see the the performance the graphs right here where the cpu graph is the least and when you compare the results online which i will show you the screenshots after this that compared to a gaming pc with a ryzen 3700x and the 5700 xt this pc is just uh, a notch below that and that's because we are going to lose big time to this ryzen 7 3700x it's not just because of the graphics card so overall score drops because of the pc cpu performance uh so that's so far as much as i can show you for this pc uh, means for the mac uh, the rest of the results i will show the comparative and enjoy That's pretty much so thank you for watching and enjoy.